have you ever visited a website and seen one of those cookie banners pop up and wondered how to actually create one for your own site that keeps you compliant with privacy laws like GDPR and CCPA? Today, we're diving into CookieBot by UserCentrics, a powerful consent management platform that automatically handles cookie tracking, classification, and compliance, so you don't have to stress about the legal details. CookieBot is free for small websites, and for larger sites, plans start at just $8 a month. It's super easy to set up, no advanced tech skills needed, and it integrates with all major platforms like WordPress, Shopify, Wix, and Google Tag Manager. It even stays up to date automatically as privacy regulations evolve, and it's certified for Google consent mode and supports Microsoft UET consent mode out of the box. I'll walk you through how to set up your own consent banner, customize it, and see it live on your site. If you wanna try this out for yourself, I'll leave a link below where you can start a free 14-day trial of CookieBot. All of those details are in the description. Before we get started, if you find this information helpful, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe so you don't miss future tutorials like this one. And if you have any questions, you can drop those in the comments. All right, let's dive in and take a closer look at CookieBot. We are gonna start off on the CookieBot website. So this is where you are going to set up your account. You can start your free trial from here and any links that are discussed in this video will be in the description. So you can find all of that information there. Why do we really need a consent banner? And in simplest terms, CookieBot is a consent management platform that is built to help website owners automatically detect, manage, and document cookie usage and user consent. It's basically giving you a turnkey way to manage all of your cookie consent and ensure that your site's practices stay transparent. So you can think of this as kind of like your set it and forget it consent manager because it's going to scan your site, it'll detect what cookies are running, and it's going to block them until users give permission. And it's gonna store that consent so that you have proof. Why is that important? Because regulations like GDPR in Europe require you to give explicit consent before using non-essential cookies. And in California, there are laws like CCPA slash CPRA, which is gonna force you to provide an opt-out option and transparency. This consent banner is like your front end to all of that. It's how you ask permission. So CookieBot handles it for you so that you do not have to reinvent the wheel. So we're just going to get started and we can start either the trial there. It doesn't really matter. You can also click this button for start for free. So we will click that and it'll prompt you to set up an account. But if you already have one, you can just click the login button as well. So we'll take a moment to do that. And once we're logged in, we're going to be on our dashboard. So we'll be able to see all of our options over here on the left. One of the most important things that you should do before we start to design uh, and configure our consent banner is to add your domain. So if you want to put this on a site, this is kind of a crucial step. You wanna add that domain there. I'm using a test website today, so I'm gonna take a moment to grab that domain and then I'm going to click add and we'll put it in there. And then you can also change the scan frequency if you want to, monthly is fine with me. We'll add that domain and then we can see that that was successfully added. If you need to add consent for your mobile app, that is an option that you have. We're gonna continue to move along and we'll go to the configuration section where this is really going to let us get the look and feel of exactly how we want to manage our consent banner. So you have a couple of options. One is a dialogue, the other is a bar. If you have a preference over the other, you'll be able to see it over on this right-hand side. So that's really nice that you'll have the preview of how everything looks. So it won't be a surprise when you install it on your website. If you want to add any styling effects like sliding it up, that is an option that you can choose. You can also choose the position between top and bottom. I think I'll leave it at the bottom currently. There's a few design options you have. If you wanna keep it the light, that just means light colors. You also have a dark theme too. I think I'm liking the dark theme, but you also can customize if you want to change out any of these colors, especially like for the highlight, if we wanted like, oh, we absolutely have to have a magenta pink type button, we can add that there. And then any of those button colors, you have the ability to change the background on that as well. Do know that you have the ability to toggle through those. So if hexadecimal colors are what you would rather work with, that is okay too, because then we could just change out the border colors to match. I'm just giving you 
an idea of how all of that could be changed. Okay, let's keep moving. If you wanted to add a logo, you could do that too. The compliance section, it's going to ask if you want a specific method, whether it's more implied versus explicit. I think I'll leave this one explicit. That's completely up to your preference level. You also have the ability to change. The multi-level is going to give you the range of sort of consent that you want, whether you're denying, you're allowing all, or you're allowing a few of them. You also have the ability to just say accept only. So that can also be an option if you would rather keep it a little bit more simplified. Your distribution, this will let you choose how you want this to show up for visitors in select areas. If you want to keep it more of like blanket coverage, you could just click the all visitors and leave it there. That is just the design panel. You have content as well. So any text that needs to be changed, whether that's any of the button text, any of the description, you have control over all of that. So if there's something that you're like, mm, that's not quite how I would want to word that, you've got the ability to make any of those changes. And there are lots of those changes there that you can fill out. You also have the privacy. And this is for your privacy trigger. So that trigger is going to be this little button that's going to be in the corner. And you can choose too of whether or not you want to change that icon color. If you'd rather have it black and white, those are just the default. If you wanted to give it a color, like I could go back and paste that hexadecimal color in there, I can do that. And we can see that preview there. If you need to adjust any of the distance from the corner, you've got the ability to do that. You also have the option to switch that to dark theme too. And then for the declaration, you have some template options there. So if we are satisfied with the way that things are looking in our banners, then we will definitely want to come up and click the save changes so that all of those preference settings are locked in. I'll navigate back to the dashboard so that we can keep moving forward. It's time to implement this on our website. And as I had mentioned before, all of your major platforms will be shown here. They've got implementation options for each of them. Also know that you can take a line of script. It can provide you with a code that you can put into the head of your website. So no matter what platform you're using, you should have the ability to implement this on your site. We're going to focus on WordPress today, and I'm actually going to show you how to install it via the plugin. It's a very quick and simple process. So I'm going to navigate to this WordPress site. We will go to the plugin section and I can add the plugin. And this is just a simple way I can type in CookieBot and then we can search for it. It's the first one that pops up. We'll click install now. I'll hit activate and then we can see that it's activated. I'll just click get started. And then we've got our dashboard within the WordPress site now. So we need to configure our settings. We've already got our account set up, which is amazing. So if I click configure settings, it's going to ask me for a settings ID or a domain group ID. So this is where I need to go grab a number from the account that I set up. So if I scroll back up, we can see the installation guides and this domain group ID. This is the number that I need. So I will click this to copy. We'll navigate back and then I will paste in there. Click connect account and then it has been connected. There's a few more preferences that you can go through on here, but do note that all of that design and configuration of how you want it to look and feel and all of the words, that's going to be done in the configuration tab. So if we're ready to preview this, let's navigate to the homepage of our site and we can see that our trigger is over in the left corner. We can click that and then we can see that our current state. It's showing that I've already clicked the consent. So you have the ability to change your consent. And I, if I wanted to do that, that's where the banner is gonna pop up. We can see our custom colors are showing through on that. I could click allow all. And then our trigger goes back to the icon in the corner. And so at any time you could manage your own consent but that's showing that it is installed correctly. So very simple, very quick, not a lot of technical skills needed. As a reminder, CookieBot by UserCentrix is absolutely free. For the larger sites, there are more premium features and more management features that you have. So the pricing would start at $8 a month and it goes up from there. You have the ability to check out this page to 
see all of the main features that those premium tiers can give you. But you can always just stick with the free plan. So CookieBot is an amazing plugin that will help keep your site compliant. And it's so quick and easy to install. So let me know what you think. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.